Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, continuing on our series of the yogas, in today's video, we will talk about Bhadra Yoga. This yoga is formed by Mercury in a horoscope and uh, is considered to be one of the five yogas, which are called the Pancha Mahapurush yogas. As per the definition of this yoga, when Mercury is placed in Kendra from either your ascendant or moon, which means that Mercury is either in 1st, 4th, 7th or 10th, either from ascendant or moon, and it is placed in the sign of Gemini or Virgo, this yoga is formed. So again, the condition is from either you go from the Kendra or ascendant or from moon, uh, Mercury should be in the 1st, 4th, 7th or 10th and it has to be either in Gemini or Virgo. That is uh, in Hindi you can call it as Mithun or Kanya. Right? Now Mercury as you know like it's a planet that's associated with intellect, wisdom, analytical ability, speech and you know all your communication skills, um, youthful appearance good health, business, um, and many other things. And accordingly, the formation of this yoga can bless this person with great success in business, fame as a great speaker or, you know, orator. He will have a quite uh, youthful and a lively appearance. So all of these things that come under the influence of Mercury will be exhibited by this person. So, if this yoga is prevalent in the horoscope, uh, these people can be seen as successful as, you know, reporters, journalists, lawyers, judges, advisors, consultants, businessmen, astrologers, good politicians, teachers, speakers, and, you know, like many other kind of professionals, who has something to do with Mercury, you know, like all the skills, all the things that we mentioned uh, about the communication skills, wisdom, analytics. So these people will get success usually in these fields. They can achieve great name and fame, not only on the national, but international level as well. It all depends, I mean, like on the overall tone of the horoscopes, uh, how strong Mercury is, is it aspected by a benefic or a malefic? So, it also gives, as I said, like good health and youthful uh, appearance. And these people, they look young as compared to their ages. You know, like there was a thing going on with Anil Kapoor, like, oh, Anil Kapoor looks quite young, right? So, those kind of things, you know, like these people usually appear to be quite young. And uh, they always have like kind of youthful appearance on their face. One more thing to notice, they usually live longer than the average human life due to the benefic influence of this yoga. These people can also become good as politicians, diplomats, right? and uh, highly successful in business because, you know, like business is all about communication. If you have good communication anywhere you go, be it in the job, or any business, you will be successful. So you will find these guys to be highly successful in business as well. All right, moving on from here, let's see some of the conditions for the formation of this yoga, right? So as we know, like we've discussed, like Mercury has to be first, fourth, seventh, tenth, yes. So you will find many people having these kind of combinations. So, but the uh, results actually are not there, you know? So. What happens? I mean, like, why do some people get great results and some people uh, are not even getting the results versus someone who is having mediocre results? So, in this scenario, the total combinations we can see, I mean, like, for Mercury to be placed in either Gemini or Virgo, and uh, accordingly, two combinations in 1st, 4th, 7th, and 10th, 
So if we go with the probability, so there are possible combinations for Bhadra Yoga are 8 out of 144, which means that this yoga can be found in every 16th horoscope, right? But you know, like that's not the case as we saw in our previous videos. What are some of the conditions that give great results? Let's deep dive into that. So the most and the foremost condition is that Mercury should work as a benefic and uh, there should be no malefic influence on Mercury. You know, like even if you have Mercury in 1st, 4th, 7th or 10th, but uh, it has aspect of a malefic planet, definitely won't get the results as expected. Now, malefic Mercury, instead of farming Bhadra Yoga, can make some serious defect, which can trouble these people in the different spheres of life. Example, if malefic Mercury is present in the seventh house, it can cause problems in your married life. It can also let this person suffer from failures and delays in their professional life as well. So, Mercury has to be benefic. There is no other way around. Mercury has to be benefic in order for this yoga to be formed. Also, the second condition, if you note here, is uh, the presence, I mean, like the aspect of malefic planets. If you have, say, aspect of Saturn, right, but you have aspect of Saturn, Rahu, Mars as well. So there is no way you will get the positive, you know, like effects of this Bhadra Yoga. Now, the presence of any other benefic or malefic yoga should also be checked. Example, there can be sun along with mercury in first or maybe like first, fourth, seventh or tenth leading to Buddha Aditya Raj Yoga. So, if that is the condition, it can bless this person with great power, name, fame and you know, like they can become a ruler of a state or a country. Whereas, now if you have this yoga, but you also have Kal Sarpa Yoga. What is Kal Sarpa Yoga? You have all the planets between Rahu and Ketu. We will make a separate video on that. But for this video, let's imagine if you have this Bhadra Yoga and you also have this Kal Sarpa Yoga, then the effects of this yoga will greatly be reduced. And this person may not experience his full effects. This, what can we conclude is like mainly you have to check from all the different aspects, the presence, I mean like uh, is there a conjunction, does Mercury have any other aspects, benefic or malefic. Based on that, we can come to a final conclusion. When actually formed, let's see like if you have Bhadra Yoga and all this different, you know, like um, all the different uh, places. So if it is formed in the first half of first house of a horoscope, it can bless you with great success in professional sphere. It can also lead to good health, luxuries, name and fame, among the other things. If you have it in the fourth house, it can bless you with good married life. You will have big, big house and not only one but multiple houses. You will have luxurious vehicles and great international travels. Your travel would be good. If you have it in the seventh house, it can give good results from marriage, profession, and people who are under the strong influence of this yoga in the seventh house can achieve great power as well. Moving on, if you have this yoga in the tenth house, this will bless this person with powerful government position and it will also give you great name, fame along with professional success be it in your business or in your job. So that's the analysis of Bhadra Yoga. 
hope you like this video if you do have any comments please um, add it in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching